Hi, babe. Hey, Laura. Just wanted to call, wish you good luck. How are you feeling? Do you feel prepared? I do. I just feel like it's a big opportunity for me. And the salary is really good. I mean, I can finally move out, get my own place. I could sleep over, make you breakfast. That sounds really nice. Thank you, by the way, for getting me this interview with your uncle, babe. Of course. Show him that David Dobson deserves this job. Oh, and don't be late. I got this. Interview's at 9.30, alarm is set for 7.30. Good luck. Text me tomorrow. Uh, love you. Good night. What the fuck? Hey, watch where you're fucking going! Really? Where's he, Jeff Collins? At 9.30 for an interview? Oh, uh, one second. Have a seat. I'll let him know you're here. Mr. Collins, I have a David here to see you. Do you know how long you'll be? Oh. Really? Really? Oh, okay, I'll let him know. David? Yes. Well, you're not going to believe this, but Mr. Collins isn't going to be able to make the interview. Turns out someone double parked him in his driveway. And even more, they took off with his son's bicycle. Mr. Collins apologizes. He'll reschedule with you later today. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. And then what happened? Well, then my mom called, which is never good, and asked why the car is being towed. Said someone named Jeff Collins is going to be pressing charges against me for stealing his kid's bike. A what? Nothing. The point is, I actually made it to this one on time. You gotta at least give me that. Yeah, you made it on time. But why did you have to rush? I thought you set an alarm. 